Lindsay Wheeler used to have no interest in religion and called herself the ultimate non-believer. But after reading one book about Islam, she turned her life around. Now she's a Muslim and she's about to change her name to Aquila. I kind of talk about myself as if I'm two different people. And back then I was very different to how I am now, but I can still um, relate to the person I was then. I haven't completely forgotten who I was. I can't find anything better than Islam, so I can see myself being a Muslim, hopefully, until the day that I die. Now, Lindsay doesn't need a piece of paper to prove that she's a Muslim, but if you convert with the help of the people here at the New Muslims Project in Leicester, you will get a certificate for your new faith, along with helpful hints on what it really means, practical advice for your life. So, here, for example, they run residential courses to teach you Arabic and to give you help to get through things like Ramadan, no food from dawn till dusk. From this base, they send information worldwide. The project's run by Batul Altoma. She was raised a Catholic and converted to Islam in the 1970s. Back then, such a move was rare, but in recent years, she's seen a much higher level of interest in Islam. I think that people are being introduced to and are much more curious and, and, and wish to sort of explore other aspects of life and faith and community and pol politics and so on that they might never have um, thought before. I, I suppose people are slightly alarmed that people might be interested in a faith uh, which is so sort of in the media at the moment, in the media spotlight, both politically and, and, and as a faith. Islam is under more scrutiny than ever and is the fastest growing religion across Europe and the world at a time when Britain's church-going population is still falling. These religions have brought a lot of diversity in this country and any exposure to diversity can be both exciting and worrying at the same time. So you've got a variety of reactions from British people. People like Lindsay are looking to other faiths to complete their lives. Peter Lane, 5 News, Leicester.